Alright, so I got my little camera on. So I couldn't bring the big camera, so I had to bring like a small one. You know, I gotta get the footage. So. Studying, I literally went through um, my whole phlebotomy book in like two days. Um, kind of just covered everything um, that's gonna be asked during the interview. But um, that's like 70 some pages, man. But um, your boy just been studying for about like eight hours, bro. I've been up for about like a day and something. Took a couple naps here and there but um yeah man um your boy um uh, just preparing himself for his interview that he got um later on i got my clothes and whatnot um laid out you know it's business casual uh, so i won't really be needing to um you know buy scrubs and whatnot you know so it's kind of like um free dress you know what i'm saying um at school but um yeah oh yeah in arizona Y'all watching this? Hey man, this is one of my favorite drinks, man. An iced tea. But yeah, uh, I'm just studying right now, man. Yeah, man. And this is just an example of that you can do anything that you put your mind to. You know, I got one hand, and you know, just because I got one hand don't mean nothing. You know, um, you know, when I step outside, you know, it's just like walking on the street and whatnot. You know, it's always gonna be cracks. You know, and potholes on the road, but does that stop you from getting to where you gotta go? No, you gonna keep going. There's different roads for you to still be able to get to the destination that you gotta go to. So long as you think of it like that, hey man, ain't nothing gonna stop you. And always run with your uniqueness, you know, and stay persistent. Hey, and the bone gonna break at the end of the head, you know? So, yeah, um, you know, just some motivational advice for y'all, man. But um, let's see y'all, I see y'all, man. See y'all. Hey, man, your work is, is very nice, man. Shout yourself out. My name is Michael. Dang, now who yeah. inspired you to get into film, man? That's a nice ring you got right there. Well, one more, one more. Well, Gosh, you sound like sound like Trump be there. I'm gonna have to definitely go there. <laughs> <laughs> it's your time. It's your time. I got brothers in the business like you. Untouchable as long as they do the right thing. Cause you're smiling. Right? Dang, I never thought about that. Hey, man, I well, love your energy, man. Yeah. It's got like protein milk in his Cheerios. And he's <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm like a, I'm like an old head, bro. <laughs> they would not leave me alone. Yeah, that's one of the who wouldn't uh, leave me alone either. But I got all of them on video though. They would not leave me alone. Bro. What's good, y'all? You know what I'm saying, man. I ain't been to this park in hella long, bro. Especially when we um used to come over here to our little field trips. You know what I'm saying? That with me young, bro. And they used to give them soggy sandwiches, but they they used to be busting on when was hungry. But uh, I'm gonna go get me something to eat real quick, man. It's a nice morning. Uh, hey, one of my first jobs in the city was at my eat, bro. In like um high school, bro. They used to give us like two forty. It was like two hundred and forty dollars every uh two weeks, and with every twenty you save, they would match it. You feel me? But uh, like my second job I had, my first job was at like a plumbing company. I was um like cleaning the offices and the bathrooms and whatnot like every Friday. Come 
from India. Let them know where you from, my guy. From Nepal. Jay, let them know where you from. I'm from South Nepal. Korea. Jay, here. Where y'all just come back from? Playing basketball? Yeah. yeah. Bruh, y'all gotta hit me up, bruh. Here, I'll be balling. All right, man, y'all be smooth. Oh, but yeah, that's the same old head that uh, tried to push me uh, when I was walking, but I ain't gonna do that to the old head. And uh, when I was over here a couple of times, he was like, oh, can you call my phone? Well, my phone is dead, but it don't make any sense if both of your phones dead. You need me to call your phone. And the other dude who had the knife, um, I seen him there on the bus too. The old head that was trying to push me, he was on the bus. So as soon as I seen the old head, I already knew what time it was. But I was in the dude, he was like, oh, you ain't no war, you're in this and that. But a lot of people ain't gonna like how bright you shine. They ain't gonna like that, but it's a lot of hate. But um, that's all right. Yeah, I'm a man of peace. That's why I don't say anything. Is listening to your message, and even though that they walk as long as they can hear, bruh, as long as you hear something that's gonna forever stay, stay, stay stuck in your head and will always keep playing. Our words are so yeah, powerful. Words are way powerful, bruh. And, and we can use yeah. the Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue, and those that love it shall lead its fruit. Yeah. yeah. But it, the things that flow forth from our mouth is what first starts in our heart. How long have you been doing this, my guy? I I was uh I never had a pair of those 11s, but I used to walk around the halls like this trying to decrease the Bro, them clean, bro. I, I I know. And you know those how are, many those, with those, those are just shoes to you, you know. Man, me, let me tell you something, bro. It ain't materialistic. Sh don't mean nothing, but bro. For, because for me, it was. You know, I was so obsessed, like with, with with just how many people I could impress, and I was so consumed. My heart was so far from God. And uh, in ninth grade, He really humbled me and showed me, like, if you don't humble yourself, I'm gonna humble you. And I didn't. So He allowed the the, the foundation beneath my feet to, to be stripped from out from under me. And, didn't necessarily come circumstantial, you know. I still lived in the same house, I still worked at the same job, and went to the same school. But I realized that I couldn't keep any longer putting up this facade and this front to, to, to live in a lie. And after I gave my heart to Him, that's when all the tests came. And that's why I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Jesus is who He says He is. Because the very moment in life that we start to do the right thing, that's when everything hard comes our way. Mom died in an accident in July 2017. Ten days later, our grandfather passed away from stage four lymphoma cancer. The next year, our sister was found dead at 28 years old with heart failure and 11 months later I was jumping people pretty much to death on my bike for in Philly it broke the two front the face plates there on my face my nose was fractured all my teeth were knocked down and all glory to God I had an encounter with Christ in the hospital and he told me I must forgive those boys from my heart because if he died on the cross to forgive me who in the world was I to not go and forgive them so that's a really burden my heart you know to, to start speaking and originally it was just lifting up my voice uh, at a gas station you know You're and doing then, it good, bro. It's, it's all his glory every day I try and just and I say what, what needs to be spoken of, even if it's what people and don't want to hear. everybody that you meet, you're the teacher of that experience, too. And another good thing, like how you said, like how you found God and everything, you're trying to fit in. Let me tell you something, bro. Materialistic shit don't mean nothing because at the end of the day, it's all about how you feel within yourself internally because you can have the nicest things in the world, but you feel me? That's not that's still not going to change of, of, of how you feel about yourself and how others perceive you, you know, in a way because of my physical difference, no matter what I got going on. But no matter what I put on, no matter what I wear, no matter what, I'm going to always feel highly and think of myself because that's how God created me. He created me to love myself universally no matter what. Whether a thousand people hate me or not, I love myself. You love yourself. And no matter what, and not only me, but everybody, everybody is, is listening to it, bro. You feel me? And then plus two, bro, you know, if, if you need, if you know, like a logo or any type of like, or any type of like graphic design, bro, I got you, bro. My YouTube is fire, bro. So, you know, just hit me up, bro. And I, and I, and I got you for the free. I ain't even going to charge you or nothing, bro. If you, if, you, if you need a logo or to start your YouTube channel or anything, I got you. Or if you, or if you, or if, or if you need a video, bro, I'll come down here one of these days on free and just, yeah. His parents felt like protein milk in his Cheerios and he's and he's, that's no, that's no, man. Hey, man, I'm like, a, I'm like an old head, bro. Yeah. That's it. You, I love how you said it, a physical difference. Yeah. Not a disability. Yeah. All of you, man. Definitely. It's what, it's what God, God humbles those that exalt themselves. Yeah. But God will exalt those that humble themselves. Yeah, you, man. God bless you too, my guy. Y'all be smooth out here. Oh, excuse me. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, what's up, my guy? But yeah, bro, I be stopping and meeting uh, all top people, bro. You know, I'll stop and, you know, talk to whoever, you know, as long as they got, you know, the human decency and respect, bro. You know, we all one. You know, we all human at the end of the day, bro. So I don't judge nobody, bro. As long as you treat everybody with respect, you feel me? You treat them cordially, bro, then we cool, bro. You know, but that's just what I want to continue doing, you know, just spreading that light, spreading that beacon. You know, we all got our own unique story, you know, in life, you know, so, yeah, man, but...